movies and cartoons have long used the cactus plant as a comedic device, often being the source of pain for either the hero or the villain, thanks to its thorns. Seriously, you wouldn't want to be running through or landing on a bunch of cactus plants, because they can really do much damage to your skin, courtesy of those pointy things that surround their body. Which brings us to this question that, perhaps, until now, you haven't really thought much of but now that we are asking it, will make you go, yeah, come to think of it, why, indeed, why, why does a cactus have thorns? Our answer, in a sec. First, we'd really appreciate it if you would like this video and, if you haven't done so yet, click on the subscribe button. It will inspire us further to create more fun and informative videos just for you. Now onto the cactus. You may have noticed on the subtitles for this video, the word, thorns, as quotation marks. That is actually by design because contrary to the popular belief, cacti don't have thorns. What they have instead are spines. Incidentally, roses don't have thorns too. They have what are called prickles. For the record, thorns are basically the modified stems of plants, such as the holly and hawthorn. Prickles, on the other hand, are pointy extensions of the skin of a plant like the rose, aloe, and thistle. Spines, for their part, are simply modified leaves in plants such as the cactus. Cactus spines are the result of the plant's adaptation to its environment. While a lot of cactus species have found themselves inside homes for decorative purposes, the original cacti and most of them even now grow in the desert where water is scarce. You see, Regular plants with regular leaves lose their moisture through those same leaves, but they don't die because they get rain on a constant basis. The cactus in the desert, on the other hand, has to contend with minimal to no rain for a prolonged period of time. To survive, they had to adapt. So over time, the cactus made its leaves smaller and smaller until they became simply spines that wouldn't lose water anymore. However, the cactus also needs to address the issue of food production, which the regular leaves normally take care of in a process called photosynthesis. To solve this issue, the cactus has developed thick, fleshy stems where photosynthesis can occur. Unlike regular plants with regular leaves that throw shade on their stems, the cacti have stems that are fully exposed to the sun because their leaves have shrunk to mere spines. In addition, the cactus stems also absorb light that has bounced from the sand, boulders, and stones in the desert, giving them ample energy to produce food. When the rain does come or there is moisture in the air, a cactus spines also serve as collectors of the precious liquid. Finally, and this is probably what is most likely universally known, spines in cactus help the plant ward off animals that would like to make a snack out of it. So, the need to adapt to a very harsh environment is the reason why cacti have spines. Plant lovers, however, will point out that not all cacti have spines. And they are right. The paley, prickly pear, and bishop's cap are but a few cacti that have lost their spines. And this has nothing to do with adaptation but is due to human intervention. Humans have long realized that some cactus varieties can also be consumed as food or used as home decor. Handling spiny cacti, however, is not only a nuisance but can really be painful if you mishandle them. So horticulturists started cross-breeding cactus varieties with smaller and smaller spines until finally, they got the spineless cactus. In the wild, away from humans, cacti can also lose their spines if they happen to grow in subtropical or tropical areas that are normally wet. If it also happens that they don't have natural predators in the area, the plant will see no need to have spines at all and will thus lose them eventually. That is how wonderful nature is. Nothing really goes to waste. And that is all for this episode of AHA! So that's why. We hope you have enjoyed our latest video. If you do, please don't forget to like it. And if you haven't done so or are new to this channel, please click on subscribe to get your daily dose of fun and informative videos. Thanks for watching.